Hi guys, I'm back to my old camera because my mom had to use a new one. So, um, sorry if this isn't clear. Okay, but this is a tutorial that I'm, that I'm gonna do by request. Do you remember that, that, that um, envelope thing that I did at the time? The one that's about this big. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do like, um, that's a very simple uh, minimalistic uh, binding uh, that you can do with envelopes as a mini. Um, yeah, so here I got um, uh, envelopes which are six by and a, six and a half inch or six and a half inch, which, uh, which is a very convenient um, size because your six by six papers will work really well here. If not, you can always cut your twelve by twelve paper into six by six, which will make this exceptionally convenient uh, size to, to play with. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do this. So here the, for the six and a half by six and a half, I measured four and a half from the side of the flap. So this is where the envelope part is, right? This measures four and a half inches, okay? And I scored uh, uh, down this way. So it's the same way as the, where the flap is, just parallel to it. And I'm gonna I scored it already. I'm still gonna fold it. Right. So fold it inwards. I mean to say that on the, the other side, the side of a flap is the same as the way I fold this. And um, because I'm going to do a book that's about um, four envelopes, um, I have gone ahead and did three of it. And here you have four in total. Alright? And what you're going to do is um, you're going to use. Um, can use, um, I'm going to use glossy accent, but you can use stronger glue or wonder tape or something. And so you're going to stick the edges of each um, of these things. So I'm going to go ahead and stick it down. Where's my go? Oh, yeah. mm. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this down. I'm gonna show you how you're gonna do that. Come on. Would I advise using like tape glue here because you will not be strong enough for this? Um, especially since it's like the main binding of the book. Uh, so here you have the flappy side, and here the other side of the flappy side, you're gonna stick the flappy side down to the other side, the non flappy side. Okay? Usually I try to make sure that it's flush on the side to so get something like that. Okay? So now you're gonna, and this is one side of it, you're gonna do it the other side. So same thing. Let's take the flappy side. Not so flappy side. Here you have two of it. Now you can have as many pages as you want. So um, here I got two here and I have two here. So what's going to happen to make sure that the the side that faces out, right, is actually the uh, is actually a non pocketed side. Um, these two sides, I'm going to have the short side stick together like that. All right, and there you have your book. So I'm going to do that. The thing about, about, about glossy accents usefulness in this sort of situation is because um, it allows for very controlled placement of a glue. So you can put them at all at the edges. Without worrying that you know you spill into the other part. Like I said, the portion which you actually want to make it into a pocket. Mm, Ta-da! There you have it. You have your really simple 
um, boat to Alta. And here, here's the pocket. Okay, and the reason I really like this size is because um, one each of the pockets can put in a four by six photo, um, and that's because it is uh, four and a half by six and a half here, and um, it works really well with your six inch um, papers as well. So I'm just go, gonna go ahead and stick uh, this one down. And on this is all situations where you can use a glue tape because um, hmm. glue tape, where are you? Okay, found it. Um, this is a situation where you can use a glue tape because um, that is not really quite part of the binding and people flip it up and down all the time. So I'm gonna just use glue tape here. you see? Just like that. I'm not sure that you're picking up anything, but alright. I hope you are. I'm gonna do it for the back as well. So I'm gonna take my paper and cut it down to a 4 inch by 6. Oh. Sorry. Drop stuff. Um. Oh, I forgot to do one thing. And this is why I like using glue tape. Just when you make a mistake. For a while, you can pretty much take it out. Okay, so one of the things that you want to do before that is um, I got a, got a string, a twine actually. Um, you can use, um, you can choose to use ribbons as well. I'm using a dry twine because for this particular project, I want it to look kind of in a certain way. So I'm gonna go and press that down and twine to put it behind before you stick it. So for the back. Um, this is the paper from Prima, um, printery collection I think. I'm going to have to cut 4 inches this way. I'm going to cut get this side. So, 4 inches is... I don't have my paper cut with me today, so I'm going to do it the manual way. So I'm just going to measure 4 inches on both sides and then use a um, pen knife and cut it down. Okay, you have this, right? So with the string on the other side, just kind of a line. You can use ribbon, whatnot, and you stick the other side down over. You have a book, and simply, I'm gonna do. Um, Butterfly knot. Snip off the excess. Voila, you're done. So this is a really simple um, book to do. I'm gonna have to reposition this because this is way off. Um, much better. And there you have it. Simple and it's um, because of the nature of the the, the, the the album you're not gonna have to you can't really do a lot of um, like 3D embellishments within but um, like it's a really simple gift to make uh, for a person's birthday and stuff and you can do it in any style that you want because it depends on the color of your envelopes it depends on the paper that you use. But it's really a um, really simple and cool project. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. Sorry that I can't get my um, newer camera out. So um, this is kind of 
um, the best I can do for now. Um, um, yeah, the next tutorial being with a better camera. <laughs> All right, um, if I get it back from my mom. So, uh, thanks, you guys, thank you guys for watching, and catch you guys next time. Bye.